is an evolutionary perspective valuable for everyone? You know, I think underlying all that we have done uh, for decades is, yeah. And that doesn't mean that it manifests uh, the same way for everyone. But you know, what we, what we argue in our book is precisely that, uh, without ever explicitly saying this, this need not take away any of your sense of awe or wonder, nor need it take away your faith, actually. Um, but armed with this toolkit, armed with an evolutionary lens with which to understand who you are, where you came from, you might better get to a place in the future that you would be happier to be. Yeah, actually, this is a, a radical change in people that I think we've seen in the last two or three decades, mm. that there's still a substantial divide between fundamentally religious people and fundamentally uh, secular people mm -hmm. in terms of their ultimate belief system. Sure. But I have, you know, online one encounters a certain number of comments from people every time you raise the the idea of evolution, they say that's not how it happened, God made it, right? But it's very rare. Yeah. And in general, what you now find, which is much healthier, is that smart people come in all flavors. And what we disagree of is the stuff that's really outside of the realm of what we are capable of looking into with proper scientific tools. And there isn't very much disagreement at the moment about whether evolution takes place and is explanatory, right? Mm -hmm. It still exists somewhere, but the mind numbing arguments that we used to have have largely been replaced by an acceptance that yes, everybody needs to know something about evolution because it's too much a part of having built what we are. And as our book argues, it's too much a part of why we're out of place in the 21st century. Um, and you know, how great, you know, just as, just as people have gotten over their bigotry, right? Yeah. Bigotry, yeah. like the world we were born into, it wasn't all that common, but you did encounter it. Bigotry. Right? Real bigotry, mm -hmm. right? Real bigotry is pretty darn rare these days. Still lots of ignorance, but you know, the idea of like rooting for your people against other people is, it has become uncommon and, you know. And it has become um, understood that it's unacceptable. Yes as is the rejection of the idea that some Darwinian force has implications for people, right? Uh, that has become, it's not as rare, but it's still, it's, it has become rare. And I think our conversations have gotten better because it means that we don't have this artificial divide mm -hmm. between, you know, people who have religious values and are absent from the analytical conversation about, you know, humans, let's say, right? right? Now we have people of all value sets included in that conversation, and it's it's a big improvement, right? Which uh, inherently will improve the quality of the conversation. You know, you exclude any any demographic due to bigotry, and you weaken you weaken yourselves because you have fewer people from whom to pull who might have something to offer. Totally, I do think we should mention uh, we have two pieces in the Daily Wire at the moment. Is that right? I think so. Um, in any case, it's an it's a obviously a conservative outlet, mm. but they willingly invited our evolutionary perspective. Oh, and that's um, why it's coming up. Yeah. Uh, anyway, I th I, I'm I'm sort of I'm intrigued to see what people will make of what we wrote anew and what they took from our book. Yep, they uh, excerpted a little bit from the introduction, and then uh, we wrote a, a new piece that is in keeping with um, some of the thinking in the book about um, about relationships and how to find a, a life partner. Right, and yeah. in in particular, we talk about uh, s some things about which liberals were clearly right, and mm -hmm. some things about which conservatives were clearly right, and the mm -hmm. fact that the actual picture of where we are is necessarily a hybrid between these and not necessarily a comfortable one. Right. But I will be very interested to see whether or not um, it sparks a conversation that seems necessary. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely.